Hello my friends and welcome to episode 2 of our Building Nation FM22 save. We're currently at Hillfield Swifts and we have signed an assistant manager. No players in yet because we just can't afford them. But this guy was previously at Bristol Rovers and Merford to... Ugh, I'm never going to pronounce that. He was previously at Merford. Uh, both as a hefty youth development and an under 18s coach. He has a 20 in his stats. Not just one but two of them. He's pretty dreadful other than that. I'm good discipline. But Jonathan Henderson has arrived as our assistant manager. We're going to just jump straight into the game instead of, you know, going through it all. Um, quick pick. Uh, without restriction. Uh, nope. Unpicked positions only. That's what I wanted. Oh, we can play our trialists. Beauty. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, okay. Right. I'm going to play this Mark Roberts guy because I might actually sign him. And I'm curious to see how he gets on. Um, basically, he's 49 years old or something. He's absolutely terrible in terms of his physicals, but he can take a penalty and he can shoot. Um, and he can he can pass the ball to a 10 uh, with decent vision. So we're going to take him. We're going to play him as an Engonch. I know he says it's one star as an Engonch, but do you know what? I've never used an Engonch before, and he looks like the kind of guy that would actually suit being an Engonch. So let's get in. We are going to say have fun today. Now, the other thing to know is this is one of the few teams actually below us in the league table. So it's a good start for us in terms of that. Now let's get our thingies sorted out. So we want key highlights up to, no, up one and full. And off we go. We have kicked off our Inverkeeping Hillside Swifts um, managerial career. Slightly nervous when I look at this squad, I will be honest. But hey ho, it is what it is. Chesser. Power. Hepos. McGeon. Oh. Just off the bat, where has that came from? Where has that came from? Oh man. Right. We maybe need to give them some instructions because right now I've just gave them positions and went, go for it, boys, basically. Um, which is kind of what I thought might be needed at this level because none of them can pass, none of them can run, none of them can tackle. It's kind of a bit embarrassing. Robson. Morris. Back to Robson. Decent ball in. Moore. Oh. Come on, boys. Right, can anyone play right wing? That's the question. We can win this if we work hard. Um, anyone play right wing? You're quick, you can't cross. You're quick, you can't cross. Eh, no. <laughs> Nobody can play right wing. Oh my days. We will actually switch you in advance playmaker on support. See if that makes a difference. Uh, we will go a bit more positive in the second half. We'll go slightly lower defensive line because, as I say, our guys can't run. Um, in possession, we will... Eh, I don't really know what to do for that. I feel like... Excuse me. I mean, what, what's your crossing, Mr. Moore? Eight. If we're going to go with Max Barry out in that right wing, he's done. Kieran Moore's ran his race. Let's get someone else on. Slightly nervous for this. That's a decent ball, but nobody in the area of it. Robson again. Decent ball. Barry can't win it. Scullion. Our very, very slow aging centre back. Roberts. Strang, back to Scullion, who is our new captain, by the way. Strang, Kelly, Roberts, Barry, Max Barry. Oh. Okay, we're starting to look a bit better. We're starting to look a bit better. We are now going to make a change. And we will bring on Bailey on at left back. Trialist might get us through this. 
the trialist might get us through this. We've got two on the park just now. Um, and then we'll make our final change, which will be Morris off for Callum Murray. Don't think Callum Murray's got great passing, to be honest. He's got an eight. He's got an eight. We can celebrate, boys. He's got an eight for his passing. On comes Murray. Kelly. Owen. Kelly. Owen. Simple, short passing. Murray. Owen. Whips it forward. Spence. He's spun in behind Power, who's missed the header. Spence. Oh. You can't be missing those when you were in a relegation battle. Strang with the corner. I've not set up my set pieces yet. I'm going to do that once I know who we're going to have at the end of January. <sighs> Strang again. Whips in for the far post. It's boy, it's off the bar. <sighs> we definitely came more into this in the second half. We definitely came more into this in the second half. So that is positive. It's only a point though in a game that we really needed to win. Um, we're unlucky boys. We're unlucky. Apparently we're out of the relegation zone according to that. I'm not convinced. We are not. I didn't think we were. We have climbed up to 15th. That's good. That is good. I'm going to send the assistant. I'm going to go through all that in a minute. Um, radio, we will come back. Let's just say for Broxburn. Come back for Broxburn Athletic at the end of, um, at the start of February rather. It gives us January to go and have a look at the team players, try and get uh, stuff done and whatnot. Spartans, they're the league above us, aren't they? Yes, they are. And they're a bloody good team in that division as well. Um, right, so guys, if you're enjoying this series, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. I'll hopefully catch you all next time.